The second myth is the perception that most trafficking victims are women and used for prostitution. But the evidence doesn't suggest that. What the evidence does suggest is that the trafficking, the size of the trafficking market, as measured by the International Labor Organization and a partner called Work Free Foundation, the size of the market is $150 billion. So, so it's a rich... It's about money. It's about money. And the evidence does show that out of the $150 billion, sex trafficking does contribute to the highest in terms of money. But in terms of persons, it is forced labor. So out of the 24.9 million persons that are said to be trafficked globally, over half of them have been trafficked because of forced labor and not prostitution. Prostitution does make more money. It's an easy way to summarize it is labor saves costs. Sex trafficking earns profits. And so for those in the business, they do move people to regions where they want to save costs. And that is where the volumes are. But where the profit is, is in sex trafficking. And the third myth is that Brexit will have no significant impact on Nigeria and in Africa. But again, that is a myth. Because what we see today is that not just Brexit, Donald Trump's plan of, of corporate tax reduction as well does have significant indirect impact on the flow of migrants. And I'll explain that. If you look at the remittance flows, which is really what this is really all about. In the UK, for instance, last year, $11 billion left the UK in terms of remittance flow. And only $5 billion came in. So remittance flow, the UK is on net deficit of $6 billion. In the U.S., remittances that were leaving the U.S., $64 billion. Again, only $7 billion came in. Again, a net deficit in the U.S. of $54 billion. So we can see a net deficit of remittance flow in the U.K., in the U.S. And that is also not significantly different from other states in Europe. The challenge is where do these monies go to? Two countries in Africa have the highest remittance inflow, Nigeria and Egypt. In Nigeria, remittance inflow last year was $19 billion. So again, the question of the migrant crisis isn't just really about poverty. It's not just about prostitution. It is really about money. Countries now trying to ensure that they keep as much resources to themselves. Jide Ogunso, thank you so much indeed, our colleague here on Channels Television. That's how it's been on. Uh, we must thank you so much indeed. Uh, that's how it's been on Sunrise Daily. Thank you for watching. I am Gimba Umar. And I'm Neil Taigwe. Thank you. Thank you. I'm Maupe Ogun. I'm Ajuri Ngalali. Have a beautiful day.